What's cracking, yo? Guys, I'm here with Evil Baby. We are back at Nasper Farm. Now, while I walked away to go do a food review, she went on Ghost Rider twice. I got front row. You got front row? I got the How was it going on, on, on Ghost Rider twice? Uh, it feels to be white woken up. And don't go on an empty stomach because then it'll hurt the first time, but then when you're on the second time, it, it's going to cure it. So it feels weird because I haven't been here since before New Year's. So that was the last time. Everybody got sick, kind of locked down for like almost, literally for two weeks. Two weeks I haven't posted a video on YouTube. I actually posted one the other day, trying to catch up on life. But now we're back in nuts. Trying to check out, look around, and see how everything is, and it's weird. It's even a road trap. I wanted to come early. So, because I want to try the burritos and see what is around here at night. So we're definitely going to be doing like an update on what's going on since I haven't been here. I know all the Christmas stuff is gone now. We kind of missed out that, which I really wanted to come one last time for Christmas, but it just didn't happen. But anyways, now a lot of new stuff is happening here. A lot of updates, some things that I talked about, that I called uh, a few weeks ago, and now we're gonna go check them out. All right, one of the first things I did notice that the wood chipper guy is gone. He used to be like right here where the tables are at. Now right by the school, and of course you have the barbecue place right there. They have the checkout stand right here and then more wood chip stuff, but all this area here was lined up with all his stuff and then you can come see him right here and display do the wood chip thing but i guess they probably moved him because now the holidays is over and then santa used to be right inside here and there used to be like little tables and chairs where you can go and get your alcohol as well that is also gone but of course santa's gone because it's no more christmas but i wonder what they're gonna do next well the tables and and chairs are gone for your alcohol drinks over there yeah you may want to go do Calico Rapids. It's crazy. It's too cold for that. Instead, she took out running. She's gone. She went on over here at Pony Express. Of course, you guys do know that if you guys are ever hungry, a lot of the food places here don't open until 11. That's which one of the reasons why we went to go try Breakfast Burrito because of the fact that they only sell them during open. So, but yeah, everything else here is 11 a.m., which is like about a half hour from now. So, you maybe just came back from Pony Express. What are your thoughts on Pony Express for the new year? Don't go on an empty stomach. I told you to eat. Anytime to eat. Look at this girl. Not <laughs> listening to me. So one of the main updates for here, guys, the pizza place is not closed. It is under construction. You guys can see they plan to open it 2022. That's how they're predicting how it's gonna look. We should have a combination of dining and eating. So it's a pizza factory, boysenberry, a boysen brewery. So I'm really interested to see how this is gonna play. As you can see, they have the walls up right now because they are doing construction. Now, there's not really much you can see inside. Right now, they're going to start gutting the inside of it, but they're going to take out this whole area here. They're going to redo it. So, they're saying summer. We should have something new. So, it's going to be very interesting. Also, right next to the factory store, they are doing some renovations here. Now, I'm not too entirely sure what exactly they're, they're doing here because I just remember there being like trees maybe they're redoing the sidewalk i don't know as you can see through the crack maybe they're going to utilize this area in the back and the phone doesn't like focus on the chain but you guys can see the background over there maybe it's going to focus on the stuff back there i don't know there we go but you can see maybe they're going to redo the planters maybe add some chairs maybe stuff for a patio setup i i don't know but that is uh awesome some renovations going on here so a lot of new year's resolutions there seems to be a lot of like new year like uh renovations here at nasty farm which is good because nasty farm needs to like do some changes some lockups some like some new stuff because it's, it's it's good to see new things happening disney has some things happening uh universal has that super mario Bros. thing going on so not do some renovations themselves that's good of course at bear tales we do got the bear here morning okay Thank you. All right, we're gonna start head inside Cordy's Corner to see what's new so far this year. They got some really cool Knott's Hydro Flask. That's actually pretty tight. And then this one down here, Knott's Mary Bar. I guess they've left over Christmas stuff, like as over here. They have like a whole display of uh, Christmas stuff that they do have left over, as the gingerbread ones right over there. Of course, they still have some more Send to want this stuff. Some more socks, teddy bears, bags, some more hoodies. They got a lot of leftover Christmas stuff out here.
Now, do note, when you come to the shops here at Nasper Farm, you have to wear a mask because the whole regulation is that's going on right now here in California. So right now, uh, Bear Tails doesn't really have a line. It's pretty much a walk-in. You just go inside that ride. Hopefully it's working. It's just like a pretty quick ride. But we're going to check out uh, Boardwalk. So coming out of Quarry's Corner, I didn't really see anything new inside there. Other than all like a left, lot of uh, leftover Christmas stuff. Now I do see something with the train though. Maybe like a new train is running. I don't know why that one is, but when we walk around, when we get to that point, we're gonna go check out the train. For now, boardwalk. So you can see, Wipeout is still gone. I'm not sure if it's ever coming back. Are they gonna put something here? I, I don't know. I have not asked anybody regarding Wipeout yet, but yeah, it's still not here. So here's something that I, that you maybe actually noticed earlier. This new train. So the Rio Grande, Galloping Goose, I don't know. I need to ask why that is, that's weird. So one of the bad things is that I did miss out on is Montezuma's Revenge, which is supposed to be closed for a whole year. Now, they are doing some testing on it. I don't, know, I don't know when it shuts down, but I think it might be shut down already. And if so, it's gonna come back a year from now. You know, my daughter brought this up to my attention. This has been closed for a while now. Like before Christmas, I believe. I don't know, maybe they're doing renovations. Maybe they're short in staff. But this has been closed. If you guys do know, let me know. All right, say that once, I'll say it again. Refresh station, guys. You guys get the drink all year plan or the drink all day plan. This is what I have, and it works out very well. You can refill your drinks every 15 minutes, which even baby's doing right now. But get your refresh and refill plan, guys. This totally works out. This refresh station here by Camp Snoopy does have a cart here that you have some snacks, you just get some water, some chips, and some fruit, some juices, some milk. So they do have some stuff here as well. They also have a snack plan. So if you guys have a snack plan, you can guys get some yourself a fruit cup, some assorted chips here uh, periodically throughout the day. All right, so I did find out why the smaller train is going on here, which is gonna be uh, popping up like in eight minutes. But it's the fact that it's because of uh, the low crowds here at Notch during the week. So they bring out the smaller train, which kind of looks like, it's kind of weird because it's like a futuristic like Mad Max, like Beyond Thunderdome, like kind of train, like a silverish, silver bullet. But they're bringing a big one back on the weekends when they are, which holds more people and a lot more people here on the weekends. I think like Friday to Sunday, I think that's what she said. But during the slow days or on the weekdays, they bring out the small one, which makes sense. You know, you get the small one for the no crowds and you get the big one for the, the large crowds. So there we go guys, quick video here with Evil Baby doing a little update um, here at NAS. A lot of renovations going on and a new restaurant is coming out this summer. Looking forward to that, like pizza and boys in their brewery. Looking forward to that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Guys, if you guys are new to the channel, do like and subscribe because it do come up more newer, more content, like blah, blah, blah here. But yeah, guys, we're going to be posting more stuff here and I hope you guys have a good day. This is our first day back in theme parks, or actually first day this year back in theme parks.